I thought I'd just jump on and do a really quick little whipping chat. Um, cause it's, it's been a little while since I've done one. I am working on Octavian. Here's the image. I am, where am I in this canvas? I'm like right at this bubble right here. So I've I started at this corner, this top, and I've gone over to the mid, about the middle and worked my way down. So I'm right here. So I have this bottom corner left to do. And then I'll basically be halfway done with this. So I'm really excited about that. Mm. The ABs in this, the way they were charted, like there's color blocking with the ABs, especially this one. This is the 820 AB. It is so pretty. Um, and of course I'm adding some square crystals in here to give it a little bit more sparkle and I'm so, I just cannot wait to see how it turns out. So how has everybody been doing? I hope everybody's been doing well. Um, today is December the 8th. The eighth already wow the month is absolutely flying by I am not prepared at all for, th for this year to be over it's it just seems like you know yesterday we were in January so it's it's crazy um, got exciting things for us to still look forward to this month we are taking a short little you know mini vacation it's not the universal trip that we were originally planning but we are going to hop over the mountains and go to Tennessee for a few days um so that ought to be really nice for the three of us to get away and have some time together um we want to see some snow. That would be amazing. But I really do not want to drive in the snow. So I've always been that way with about snow anyway. I, I love it. But I don't want to have to be out in it. Like if it'll wait until we get there. And it can snow the whole time we're there. That's fine. But I want it to melt and clear up by the time... It's it's time for us to go home. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but it ought to be really fun. I'm really hoping it is. I'm really excited about this restaurant that we're going to try to go to. Which is silly. I don't know why I'm so excited. But I think it's going to be fun. They have like 300 animatronic chickens in this place. <laughs> And it just sounds like it would be just really, really cute and really fun. They're, the chickens are like everywhere. No matter where you're sitting in the restaurant, you can see different chickens, you know. Um, this place, I'm pretty sure it's the same place. It was on some TV show. Um, and then when we were planning this trip saw that um, it was one of the restaurants nearby and then I put it together like, oh, wait a minute. That's that place we saw on that TV show. So I think that'll be fun. Um, my plan is I, I do want to take a diamond painting. I think I'm going to take one of the Harry Potter kits that I was able to get. Um... I think I want to take the Hogwarts and Hedwig one because um, it's around and I'm going to want to do a round <laughs> after working on this square. Um, so I got a notification that it my order shipped, so it should definitely be here in time, not a problem. Um, and let's see what else. Um, you know, I'm realizing my memory is getting worse and worse. Like, I'll think to myself, oh, that's something I want to talk about in a whipping chat. And I'm, uh, you know, it's like I, I, I earmark it in my brain and think, I have to remember to talk about this later. You know, I have to, you know, put this in the vault to bring it out so we can talk about it because it's content, you know. 
well then I forget <laughs> whatever it was so what I may try to do in January is go ahead and do maybe just short little clips of a whip and chat um, but not put the video together until I have like 30 minutes worth and then, you know, put out a whip and chat video and then I can just start all over again. Because it's like just little things, like little things that may have happened here or there or whatever, you know. But I just I always forget things, <laughs> like forget what I want to talk about. It's crazy. Um... I don't know. I think I think I'm my brain is like really stressed right now. You got the usual holiday stress and then we got this vacation coming up and then things I'm trying to remember for the Etsy shop and things people have requested that I'm trying to remember that this is one main reason why we ask that you know, people send a, a message communicating that, their request or whatever. You can send it to the Etsy shop, but may, the best place is Facebook. Um, and the best person is actually Edward. Because he's the one that does the pins, you know. Um, I'm not really 100% up to date on what his timeline is looking like for turning the pins. So, I hate to just honor some, say I'll honor someone's request and then not be able to get them in line. You know what I mean? Um, the, it, it's just a big juggling act. <laughs> oh, can we talk about um, health insurance for a second? So, the 15th of this month, well, it's open enrollment um, right now. And so, the 15th of this month is... Um, when the open enrollment period closes, I suppose. So, I am not very happy with the insurance we selected for when I left my job um, this past July. Um, and boy, let me tell you, uh, talk about a rate increase for the new year. Um, our insurance is going to essentially triple in premium cost. Uh, so, yesterday I, I got on the phone and started making phone calls to check with um, our current insurance provider is Blue Cross Blue Shield. I wasn't able to log onto my account online to compare the, the our current plan to the new plan's and all this, so I couldn't get our updated rate information. And the way that our insurance plan works now, it's a high deductible plan. It's for the three of us, it's a fifteen thousand dollar out of po out of pocket deductible, and it doesn't pay a, th a thing until we meet our deductible, right? So really, it's like we were having insurance for no reason. All we were doing was throwing money at them because they didn't cover anything so to speak you know they may have paid for a little percentage of some medication but that's it as far as doctor visits lab work edward's dental procedures none of that was covered right so we're having to pay these visits and stuff a hundred percent and to pay the insurance premium it's like what am i what am i paying this insurance company for it's so frustrating but, on top of all that, this insurance, it's income-based, right? I guess it's subsidized, so we're not paying the full premium amount. <laughs> but, the risk with that is, being self-employed, we're having to estimate future income, right? Well, we have no idea. So, if you undershoot your income come around tax time you're going to get penalized and owe the state a whole bunch of money and that this is giving me a huge anxiety because of course i didn't calculate properly 
because silly me, I wasn't thinking that I need to include the income from my former job as well as the Etsy shop. So needless to say, <laughs> I didn't do the math right. So I have that to look forward to next year, next tax time. Then, anyway, so I, I get on the phone with someone and she helps me gain access to my account online and I'm able to pull up the plans and take a look around. Well, I had to link together the medical insurance, vision insurance, and dental insurance. Well, the, the numbers that came up first blew my socks off, first of all, because they were like ridiculously high. It was insanity. It, okay, the, the premium that was showing up, I'm just going to say it was more than our mortgage payment. It was more than our car payment, okay? It is insane how high it is compared to what we're paying now. And this, this number was just for medical coverage. There was no dental and no vision included in this number. This was almost... Well, actually, hang on, and I'll tell you how much it was. Let me pull up the calculator on the computer here. I'm going to say they told me it was that amount, and I'm going to... It was almost five times as much as what our me just medical is this year that we're paying. So... Um, yeah, that, that really sucks. And we don't have a whole lot of medical problems, you know what I mean? It's not like we're a high risk, or whatever they call it, you know? We don't have, have a whole lot of pre-existing conditions. So anyway, um, some friends of mine on Facebook were having a conversation about self-employed people and what they're going to be doing for their insurance for this upcoming year. And one of the places someone talked about, it's, um, I don't know the exact name, but it's through Samaritan Ministries. It's like a Christian healthcare thing. And they were saying how theirs was really the best rates that they were able to find. So I contacted this place yesterday and got some information. Um... And basically, the the quote that we have from this place, it's still a very high deductible. It's still a $15,000 deductible that we will have. However, these, or this, these policies, they do pay something towards doctor visits. It's like we have a copay. We have a $35 copay when we go to the doctor. Or we have a $300 ER visit. You know, and, and it, they pay some towards prescriptions. You know, it's like they are actually paying something alongside us, not waiting for us to meet this deductible, right? Which, that's a relief because looking at each year, Kendall and myself, we both go to the doctor four times a year. Her for her medicine and me for my medicine, um... It's required. My doctor's office requires blood work every three months before they will renew my blood pressure medication. So that's that. I don't have a I don't have a choice. If I want to take my medication, I have to go and have blood work. <laughs> um, and Edward only goes when he's dying. Basically, he he does not go to the doctor. Um. So, it's important for us that we do have some some medical coverage, but it like we'd like for them to help pay <laughs> if we're paying these premiums in this place, they help pay the premium the office visits and stuff, so it's like we have a copay that we will pay so that that is a huge relief right there. But again, we are looking at a significant increase in what we're paying each month. But at least the total that we're looking at paying 
includes the medical, dental, and the vision. Like I said, it's still more than we're paying now. This one is going to be like one and a half times as much as we're paying now. So definitely better. <laughs> so, um, Edward thought of a really good question that I did not ask, but I need to make sure that this insurance is accepted at our doctor's offices, you know, because if they don't take this insurance and there's no point in us getting it, right? So anyway, um, God, what, I mean, what an absolute racket this insurance thing is. And I knew before that when I had insurance through my job, I, I knew that the employer was paying a large portion of it. I was still having a whole lot that I was paying out of my paycheck. But now I see, yeah, they really were paying a significant amount. And plus, it was really good insurance, what, what we had before. Um, well, I say really good. It Compared to most, it was really good. So anyway, that just kind of blew my socks off yesterday, looking at all that stuff. And, uh, you know, it's so I've got that weighing on me. Like, okay, well, now we really got to... I mean, it's, it's serious. Insurance is very important to have. And, um, it, it, this premium for the three types of policies for all three of us, it's still more than our mortgage payment and our car payment, <laughs> but not by that much, you know? So anyway, um, Anyone who is having to shop for medical insurance, I wish you all the best. Because <laughs> it is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, so, yeah, I just... Whew, not looking forward to that. But stemming from that, you know, I was having a conversation with Edward. And it's like, okay, I know we've talked about it before, but it's time to get serious we have to tighten the purse strings. Like, this is, this is really important, you know. And I told him, I said, honey, I'm sorry, but it looks like we may not get Universal next year either. Because he did the math and he figured up how much we need to save a month to go on the Universal trip next December. So, even before we got this insurance quote, I was thinking, mm, I don't see that happening. So, I don't know, man. We need a miracle. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's it's crazy, man. It is absolutely crazy. How I don't know how my parents did, did stuff like this. Like, how did you... Here, here I go, you know, I'm going to say it. I need an adult. I, I need someone to make these de decisions for me. I need someone to pay these bills for me. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, crazy, right? So, anyway. Um, so, let's talk about this kit really quick. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're seeing it on the camera or not, but... You see, it's kind of poking up right here. It's not exactly flat. Well, what I did is I pulled out one of the canvases that wasn't in the best condition to to keep and work on for my own. So this one was kind of a little wrinkly there. And I thought I had um, ironed it well enough to get all that out. But this this little spot is still there. So that's my bad. Um, and let's see, okay, very confetti heavy, extremely confetti heavy, but it's not as bad as some that I've seen. There are some times where it's just one or two drills of a color, um, but for the most part, there's a lot of the color, it's just throughout the whole area, like, that was all of that color right here, but then I've got more coming over here, you know, to fill in, um, and there really is little, small color blocking areas throughout the whole thing, because it's like the seaweed, you know, you have all these green colors, there's like three or four colors of green in through here, but there's a lot of it, so, 
you get to go right along and you have a little bit of color blocking but that the color blocking with the ABs this whole area right here that's all that AB color it's gorgeous um now let's talk about the drills themselves all right I think most of you know that I like to be very upfront and honest because that's how I want people and businesses to be with me, right? Um, these square drills, they're not as bad as a lot that I have seen in the past. However, they are not the best either. Um, I still have not gotten over that one person that asked if our, back when we, launched with generation one asked if they were as you know as good as diamond art club I, that, that just that floored me like you're not even comparing apples to apples you're comparing you know apples to raisins all right <laughs> a brand new place just starting out of course they're not going to be like one of the top companies in the same field you know what i mean even though we have lofty goals and ambitions, we aspire to be just as good. One day we will be there. However, today is not that day. We're good, but we're not that good, you know? Um. So anyway, back to these. Uh, I don't know if it's my placement or if it's the drills or some of both. I have had a couple little areas that have popped up. But I just push it back down and it stays down. Um, I do have some gapping. But again, I don't know if that's my placement. Because, I mean, I'm I'm not good with squares. Um, so, I think it's probably a combination of the drills and me. Um... But, with the light pad turned off and looking at it from a distance, you can't see those little spaces, you know? So, for me personally, it doesn't bother me. Um, for people who are very particular about their drills, um, they're probably not going to like it so much, which is unfortunate. Uh... Because, I mean, I just, I absolutely adore this image. It is such a fantastic piece of artwork. Um, and April does have another painting she has finished. I want to license it. So I need to get a hold of her. I can go ahead and get the license written up and everything and sent to her. But we just are not going to be producing it yet, you know? Um, so I'm not sure how she may feel about doing that, but, you know, we'll reach out to her and see what she says. But, um, as far as, like, trash drills that I found, I found a couple. There were a couple of little, really small tabs, and it was just enough of a tab to, to make me pull it out, but no, nothing major. Um, I think there was maybe one or two of those little car crash drills I think they're called um but considering how far I've gotten in here in my opinion that's not a bad amount that's an amount of trash that you would get with any kit I feel like so um anyways I'm really really looking forward to to getting this done oh I mean okay talking about the drills and stuff I have found just as many trash drills in these crystals that I'm adding in, okay? So it's not just it's not just my drills. It's it's everybody's drills. So I think fair is fair, and I believe that is a fair assessment. So anyway, um, someone has messaged uh, the Instagram account for the shop, and sh she sent a picture. Um, she purchased Octavian. And she's working on him while she's on vacation in Hawaii. And I thought that was so awesome. So awesome to see someone working on this kit looking out at an ocean view. It was, uh, 
it was amazing. Um, she said she thought it was fitting, you know, to be in that location to be working on something like an octopus. So that was so cool. I shared that. I shared her photo with her permission and, um, also messaged April, the artist and said, Hey, did you see this? Did you see this? Someone is working on Octavian in Hawaii. She thought that was so, so cool. She, she's really enjoying seeing people enjoying her artwork, you know, which I can only imagine what that must feel like. So, anyways, uh, let's talk about, I guess, Christmas stuff. Have you started your Christmas shopping or anything yet? Um... I think we're almost done. There's one one or two more things I need to get for Kindle. Um, but then I think we're done. Um, man, she was kind of tricky to get for this year. She started out good. A few months ago, she gave us... She actually went ahead and gave us a list of what she wants. Which was fantastic. But between her giving us the list and now... She has bought herself some of the stuff on that list. <laughs> so I had to fuss at her. I was like, girl, we're not going to be able to get you anything if you keep buying it. Mm. We have the double whammy because it's Christmas Day and it's her birthday. So we try to make it as absolutely special as we can. But it's hard. Um... And the age she is, it's it's not easy to get her everything she wants because it's all so expensive. So expensive. But um, this year she is showing an interest actually in, I'm going to say like real grown up makeup. You know what I mean? She wants a proper foundation and proper makeup tools and she wants a little bit of eye makeup just you know, for a natural look. Those are her words, not mine. She wants just a natural look. But she wants to be wearing makeup. And I think that just shows that she is just growing up right before my eyes. And it's crazy. <laughs> she was just nine years old, you know. She was nine years old playing with Barbies and Legos. Oh, man. How do y'all do this? Like, the ones that birthed your children and, and had them since they were newborns until they grow up. How do y'all do this? <laughs> like, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, man. But isn't that what parents are supposed to do, right? As hard as it is, it's your job to... Prepare them for being out in the real world and flying out of the nest, you know? What an incredible job, but, oh, it's gut-wrenching. <laughs> so, anyway, um, Edward made a comment last night that I haven't watched any Christmas movies. And he's right. I have not watched a single Christmas movie yet this year. I have, however... Started my tradition. I'm going to call it a tradition because I did this last year and I'm doing it again this year. Around this time is when, it's the only time really, that I watch, um, what's it called? The Great British Baking Show. It's the one that the host, or the judges, excuse me, are um, Prue and Paul uh, Hollywood Oh, God, I could look at that man all day. Those eyes. Mm. But, um, you know, the contestants come on and they're, they do a signature bake and then they have a technical bake and then they do a showstopper. And it's just these really extravagant and amazing things that they make with food. And, I mean, a lot of times, in my opinion, it ends up being artwork. They are just so beautiful. Um... But I, I've started watching some of that. And that just kind of puts me in the holiday mood. Watching baking things. And I, I love to bake. I haven't baked anything in a long time. 
but um, I just love to watch and I try to learn a little bit and learning what, even though we like they speak English and we speak English, it's still a different, different language <laughs> because things that they um, say on there, we have different words for over here for some things. Um, uh, what are they called? Biscuits. It's like that, that gets me every time. Biscuits, biscuits over there are, are what we call cookies. <laughs> and then they're all the time talking about like soggy bottoms, <laughs> things like that that sound funny. Um, but it inspires me to some degree to want to attempt to bake something new, but I haven't. <laughs> I'm still intimidated, so I've not taken the dive in to do this. But also, I don't really have a lot of counter space in my kitchen, so I don't feel like I can make a proper dough um, to be able to do a lot of the things they do. But that doesn't mean I don't enjoy watching, you know what I mean? So that is, that is my little holiday tradition that I do, um, that I really enjoy. So do you have anything like that, that you do every year? Where it's, you know, just a little tradition you have with yourself. Or maybe you have it with, you know, your friends or a significant other or something. But just something that you do only this time of year. I'd be interested to know, am I just a weirdo? <laughs> or does everybody have something they do like that? Um, Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and in this here, I'm going to keep working. Um, I'm almost finished with this section. And then I will move over to this one over here and rinse and repeat and keep going. Um, not too bad, I don't think, for just, um, how long have I worked on this? A little over a week. I think, I feel like I've made great progress with this, this beautiful, beautiful image. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.